Uh, I'm gonna record this for posterity's you think you sake. Be a little more careful this time. My associate collect barrels of gold. slick Rick yeah. will be waiting in gullet okay. for delivery. Yep. Uh, this is what happened last time quiet. is we accepted a quest and then the game crashed. So, there we go. Okay. We managed to get the quest this time, which is good. But uh, we're gonna go. Okay, that just opens up a straight up customer support web page. Ba -da -da. I don't know what if I should go ahead and open that or not. Uh, but we'll we'll try and stream until um, we'll try and stream until nine o'clock. We'll at least try and get twenty minutes of content out of the way. I don't care if it's one side quest or not. I just want to do something. Because as you can tell, the game servers are not very happy right now. And I don't know why. Because I'm also collecting video evidence right now. So, uh, number one, I'm playing on low settings, so that should not be impacting anything. Okay, all this stuff sits low. Note that before, I have been able to run the game on medium completely fine, and stream it on medium completely fine. We will see if swapping realms helps. But we're basically, what I'm doing is I'm collecting video evidence for King's Isle to see that they need to fix their servers. <laughs> that is basically what is going on right now. So off we go. I love how I'm still angry. <laughs> it's like it knows... It knows. Because <laughs> I don't intend to look angry. There we go. Now it's reset me back to normal. <laughs> but, okay. There we go. Oh! Oh! Okay, it did not crash again. That's good. I was like, oh my goodness, if it, if it crashed again when I alt-tabbed, that's going to be ridiculous. Okay. So here's an example of the terrible loading issues I have faced. I will try and leave an area, and... Okay, this time I managed to get out of the area alright. But sometimes it will take forever for me to get out of a particular area. And I would like to note that me swapping realms has not helped. Me swapping realms will not help. I am, you know, uh, we're, we're in Avery right now, and like, look at this. Oh, and as soon as I go to Vatima, I, see, I'm in Vatima realm, and you can see how long it was taking me just to load in. And this is one of the not crowded servers. So we are going to do this trading under the table side quest, and if this is all I get for the YouTube VOD, so be it. But we are going to go, and we are going to take down those Marleybone ships. Where are the cannonballs? Okay. Oh, but, well look at that. It's actually kind of loading okay right now, is it? I don't know if it is or not, but we will see. But yeah, we'll, we'll try and get those cannonballs. How about that? Also, oh my goodness, my headphones are incredibly loud. I need to turn them way the fuck down. There. Okay. Here we go. So far the ship battle is loading, okay. Okay. We didn't get cannonball, but that's fine. So we can just fight these guys to our heart's content, because they're low level. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking on Thursday we're going to be doing Skullgirls Mobile for sure. Okay, it looks like for the Marleybone Cannonballs it's going to be every other ship fight. That's not so bad.
first few pirate servers. I wonder if boarding is gonna be a better option. We can try that maybe for a fight. I didn't need to open that. I wanted to collect the gunpowder keg! Give me that please, thank you. Spot already, wow. Uh, okay, it looks like the ships are loading okay now, that's good. At least the ship fights are loading alright. There's a the powder kit. to click six of those, but since we're hopping back and forth, it's not that bad. Okay, now we just gotta go collect that gunpowder. Whee! Okay, so there's some of it this way. Here's one. And then there's of it right here. Okay. Also, chat, please tell me if stream quality or whatever really does start to tank or you like it's not loading at all because I genuinely am not able to tell while I am playing unless I alt tab out. Ooh, okay. Oh, here we go, yep. There we go. As soon as I mention quality, everything starts chugging, huh? Like, only me. Only me, only my existence. Okay, we'll go to Gullet. delicious. Okay, into Skull Island Skyway we go. Overly long loading screen? No, slightly longer than average loading screen. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Phew! Okay. I'll tap while sailing bad. <laughs> I'll 
to have all sailing bad because you end up on your deck and you don't know what's going on. Oh, don't shoot me, please. I'm not worth it. Okay. Hi, Jonatown, let me in! Okay, phew. I always get worried when it takes longer than a couple of seconds to dock at a place, you know? Just like I get worried when a loading screen takes a really long time. please. Thank you. Well, it let me into Jonatown. Now I have to be let into Gullet. I told Mary not to trust some inexperienced little punk to do her dirty work. Just give me the What do you I do again. when I lack motivation? Uh, I don't know. I just tend to be like, I will okay, say let's your go. services leave something to be desired, but I need a neutral party to do a job for me. Look, what do I do when Captain I lack Joshua motivation? Lee That's a good question. Me to take some because it depends on what it is. Do I not have motivation to do chores? Do I not have motivation to do other and work? I don't know. Are you up for getting weapons from Marquisadors okay. and the Skyway map from Jose Valdez? Captain Lee will pay you upon delivery in Port okay, Regal. Okay, now we gotta go back to Port Regal. I'm just gonna teleport there. But a lack of motivation. Hmm. That is a very good question. I, again, for me, as I said, as I've noted, it's uh, very dependent on uh, how I f how I feel about the particular thing. Is it just I don't want to move right now type deal, or is it you know you are completely and totally utterly drained? And it depends on the task too. You know. Because some tasks I'm like, oh yes, let me let me do it, and then other tasks I'm like, eh, I don't really I don't really care. So it kind of just depends, I suppose. Oh, motivation for your own personal passions and hobbies. Got it. Okay. Well, if it's a uh, personal passion and hobbies, and you just don't have the motivation to do one anymore. What I find uh, helps me here, let me sit up straight, is I tend to think, hmm, what is another passion or hobby of mine? Because if I'm tired of one particular passion or hobby, I might as well do or work on another one. Because if I'm tired of one and I work on a different thing, my passion for the original tends to come back. So say that uh, I've been writing and writing and writing and working on a writing thing for a while. But then I decide later that, oh no, I'm tired of writing, I've hit writer's block. Well, I haven't drawn anything for a while, so then I'll go and I'll do some drawing, and then when I get tired of drawing, I go, okay, time to go back to writing. I, I find that that helps me a little bit. And you know, sometimes if none of your old hobbies are really hitting it for you, you gotta find something new. Like, uh, for me recently, uh, I've started watching, uh, I started watching one of the Transformers uh, TV shows. I started watching Transformers Prime today because I didn't have anything else I wanted to do. But I felt like I needed to be doing something besides just throwing job applications into the ether. So I decided, okay, let's just uh, let's just go and do this. Oh, miss, come on, miss. Oh yeah, that's how I tend to see it.
can't see with my heels ready, and it's stressing me out. I've only watched the first uh, five episodes of Transformers Prime, but I really like it so far. Uh, in my opinions on the characters, Miko is an idiot, but she is a very lovable idiot, so I'm just like, child, you are going to get yourself killed, but at the same time, I understand that you are one of those like wild child archetypes. But I think the reason I like it on Miko is because I don't see female characters with her personality that often, I think, in a lot of media. You know, like, recklessly stupid. I don't... I don't see that very often. So having that personality on a female character instead of one of the two male leads is actually very refreshing for me. It's so like the two male leads, you've got... Uh, there's Raph, who's like this cute little nerdy kid. He is absolutely adorable and I would die for him. And then there's Jack, who's actually kind of like... Res who's the most responsible out of all of the kids. And you know, if it were, I feel like if it were any other show, like, uh, Jack and Miko's personalities would be reversed, but they really went like, yeah, no, we're gonna have this wild child of a girl who's obsessed with giant robots and being in on the action, and I salute them for that. And yeah. Uh, okay. Let's get this spread. Let's get this shit beat, boys. Okay. Got two out of six weapons with two out of six ships, so this one is not going to be like the bananas from last time. If you all remember the bananas. I remember the bananas. If I remember right, Jose Valdez is like Skull Island Skyway, he's like a level 5 ship. So I think we'll do that last. Because I want to do the Idol of Toluk quest today. My god, we are going to do Idol of Toluk if I can help it. With the way I have it stuff positioned so I can see chat, I can't actually uh, see if my healing my healing ability is ready or not. So I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. Ah, no, it's turning into the bananas again. Please don't be like the bananas. But yeah, to be honest, I was not expecting Transformers as a franchise to be one I would get interested in, but here I am. <sighs> yeah, uh, my, my opinions on uh, the Autobots so far is Arth for Transformers Prime is uh, RC is big sister. Like, she, she just has such big sister energy and I love it. Bumblebee is baby. Ratchet is cranky old man. But in a but in an endearing way. Uh, I think I think the big green one is Bulkhead. I'm only five of season, so I don't know. I like I I I like him. He's like kind of like the tough guy, but he's like actually got like a really soft center. He's actually kind of smart. And then Optimus Prime is Optimus Prime. <laughs> like he's he's just icon. You know, you, you don't mess with the icon. Actually, it's really funny because I was listening to Optimus Prime's voice and I was like, why does he sound so familiar? Because I know that like they, he's the same guy that's voicing Optimus Prime since like the 80s, I think? And so I was like, okay, 
but he sounds like another character. So I looked him up on like, I forget if it was behind the eyes actors or IMDB or like TV tropes or something, but I looked up the actor and the actor apparent for Optimus Prime voiced Avenger in the 1980s D&D cartoon actually, which uh, the 1980s D&D cartoon is a big piece of nostalgia for me. So upon finding out that, oh hey, Optimus Prime is voiced by that cartoon's main villain, it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> So yeah, I like that. I like learning like cool trivia about shows I watch. I know that the guy that voices Bulkhead is also the guy is also the guy that voiced Gonzu from Lilo and Stitch. You know, like the big sharky alien dude who like tries to catch Stitch, which is also pretty cool. I didn't recognize uh, RC's voice actress. And I didn't recognize Ratchet's voice actor either, and Bumblebee just goes beep boop right now, so I don't know him either, but he baby. <laughs> Again, he baby. I don't know, I'm weird. I like I like characters that are just like cute and sweet, you know. But <laughs> I've just been having a, a good a good old time. Uh oh. Okay. There they go. Board Sansa, no thank you. Please give me my heal. It's almost up, please. 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 Thank you. Come on! Yay! Okay. I'm gonna go sit in the wind lane for a second. Oh, no. Guess we're fighting and we're gonna try and board something. Hey. That's a good change of pace, though. Okay. We'll, bo we'll board. We'll get boarded. I don't care. Donna Maria! Monkey. Mm, monkey. Yeah, did I answer your question before going off on a Transformers tangent, Alba? I'm sorry if I did not. Also, go bird. to go sit in the wind lane for like a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta make a call? Yeah, go ahead, go make your phone call. Phone calls are important. The little texture seals kind of look cool. Big ol' ice giant. Okay. We'll 
go do this, we'll go get that Skyway map and then I think I know what I'm going to do is that we're going to go and we're going to do an Archaic Curiosity. And then there's another side quest that's kind of tied to that as well and we can do those two and we can knock those out and that'll be streamed for tonight I think. Back to Skull Island we go. Actually, speaking of that 80s uh, Dungeons and Dragons cartoon, um, I was actually uh, I, so for context earlier today. I basically I was at a convention and I got uh, these Splatoon 3 stickers, but I didn't I don't I didn't want to use like all of them, so I kind of went hmm I w I wonder if my sister would like one, so I went to go so I asked my sister hey do you want one of these and she's like yes I do so I gave her one of the Splatoon 3 stickers and then you know she's like hey I have a, like a ton of D&D stickers do you want some and I'm like sure I'll take some D&D stickers so I went and she got out her sticker bag and because she has a like ziploc plastic baggie full of stickers because she is obsessed with them what is this about Splatoon stickers? Okay, uh, it's circling back to the 80s D&D cartoon thing I mentioned earlier, but basically, uh, I gave my little sister a Splatoon 3 sticker because I got a Splatoon 3 sticker pack at a convention from somebody, and I didn't want all of them, so I asked my sister if she wanted one, she's like, yes, and then she asked me if I wanted a D&D sticker, or like some D&D stickers of hers, because she got, she got like a hundred pack of D and D stickers off the Amazon or something, and was like, "I'm not going to use all of these. I want it. I want one of them to go to a good place." Oop, excuse me. So I was like, "Sure, let me see what you got." And she had a bunch of uh, D and D stickers from the uh, '80s D and D cartoon, which I have a. Whoa, okay, buddy. Which I have a particular nostalgia for. So. Can't wait, uh -oh. Captain. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Will do. Can't wait, Captain. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, yeah. Will do. Whatever. I'm just go wait until it's able to load, please. Cause that's what I need to do sometimes, you know. There we go. Oh, that's that's a glitchy visual. <laughs> okay, I just killed her. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. I can't get the chests. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Please let me be back online. Thank you. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Spyro go, uh oh. Come on. Okay, there we go. We're back in. Okay. Let's go. Jose Valdez, hello, you are like level five. I can kick your butt. There we go, got him. Port Regal. Teleport button? Thank you. <laughs> it's like, teleport button, will you work please? Take me home, country roads. To the place I belong. West Virginia. Mountain Mama. Tea 
good. But, yeah. TLDR, Optimus Prime voiced by Avenger. Sister giving me Splatoon... Me giving Sister Splatoon 3 stickers brought back a couple of memories. Which, to be honest, the 80s D&D cartoon is... Terrible, but in like a good way. That dirty rat, Slick Rick, sent you in his place. I'll avoid buying from him in the future. Thanks oh, for your help, pirate, and smooth sailing. It go. Okay. So I think uh, for the last bits of tonight, do we want to do save our scurvy dogs in an arcade curiosity? I think that's what I would like to do. So we're gonna go do that. Or not. Or not. Or not. Or yes, yes. Okay. We'll see. Um. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure that everything is loading okay, but Pirate 101 does not want to cooperate, and that makes me very sad. It makes me very, very sad. Like, why, Pirate? Why are you like this? So yeah, my internet's working okay. Like, it, 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 when I'm not connected to Pirate, everything works fine. Stream loads fine. You know, stream will load fine. Pirate will load fine by itself. I'm not sure what's going on. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, hello, stream elements. <laughs> What we do. Oh, that could help. <laughs> that could definitely help. Or not. <sighs> sorry, I uh, sorry for five viewers, spy be troubleshooting. Are we back? I don't know. Are we? Are we? <sighs> okay. I think... I think so. I think so. Looks like yes. Okay. Okay. We're back enough. I think, um, that side quest is probably gonna be about all we're able to do today. <laughs> um, just based on how stream is loading for right now. Like, it's, it's being really, really bad. So I might have to say uh, we're ending here tonight just because of how bad pirate servers are being again as usual it's annoying I'm hoping that maybe like once summer break ends um, things will get a little bit better but if they don't uh, you know it, it is what it is so um, yeah I think we're just gonna Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to end things here for tonight. Uh, yeah, for for those who uh, got disconnected, we're just gonna leave that side quest off uh, where we finished it, and we're probably just gonna have to stop for the night because uh, Pirate 101 go burr and Pirate 101 servers be absolutely terrible, and I am not in the mood to fl flitter around with that. I am going to send them a uh, customer support thing.
because I can. And we'll see what we can do with that. But anyway, I hope to see y'all on Thursday. On Thursday, we're just going to do we're gonna do a Skullgirls uh, mobile stream instead. Hopefully that goes a little bit better than this. And yeah, uh, have a fantastic, have a fantastic evening. Goodbye.